What's going on everybody? Kevin Anson here. So I have a super quick tutorial for you guys today. I want to show you guys how to put a transition on your audio tracks um, and do it super quick. Here's a vlog that I edit for one of my clients. Uh, they're called Click Funnels, and they have a show called Funnel Hacker TV. We're on our 56th episode, so I edit three of these vlogs a week. And as you can see, this is my timeline down here, and it just gets insane. So like, one of the most important things that I've found is like, when you're editing a vlog like this, there's so many cuts going on. Like, you know how they do those jump cuts in vlogs where somebody's talking, it's just like a jump cut to their next statement. So when you're editing something like that and there's so many different cuts going on, as you can see all these cuts in the timeline, it helps if you put a three frame cross dissolve on your audio. So if I zoom in here, you can see on every single one of these cuts, there's a three frame cross dissolve on every single one. But the pain in the butt would be is if you were to have to add a cross dissolve, a three frame cross dissolve on your audio on every single cut one by one, that would just take an insane amount of time, especially when you're looking at this timeline, you're like, oh my God, I have like 200 or 300 cuts or I don't even know how many there are. I would be like, screw that, uh, I quit. So there's a super quick way to do this and that's what I'm gonna show you guys right now. So check it out. I'm inside Premiere. And if I go up to preferences and I go to general, uh, no, it's not general. If I go to timeline and there's this uh, second option here that says audio transition default uh, duration. This is, is probably defaulted to uh, one second on your, uh, on your premiere if you've never touched this before. So set this to three frames, okay? Um, and then actually another thing that I, since I'm here is this one right here, video transition default duration. Like if you guys are putting a one second cross dissolve on stuff, like stop doing that, seriously. Like I don't use cross dissolves at all, like never. Uh, I think that they're they're amateur. And if you wanna battle me on that, like we can talk about that in the comments, but do not put a one second cross dissolve on your stuff unless you're like, I don't know, like there's very rare cases where you wanna put a one second cross dissolve. Like maybe you're transitioning from like, I don't know, a shot where it's like, um. I don't know, when, one year and then you're skipping a couple years ahead and you just, I don't know. But seriously, I never use it. If I do, if it's super quick, I change this to 12 frames. So this is 12, this is three. Cool, let's hit okay. So now, what I like to do is I like to make it so that you can put a cross dissolve on all of your audio with one click. The way I have it set up, for me, is I, I hit the minus key on my keyboard and it's gonna add a cross dissolve to all of the uh, the audio tracks. So let's like, for example, let's just say, um, I'm gonna delete this one right here and I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna delete this one here. So let's say I just wanna add a cross dissolve. Oops, let's say I wanna add a cross dissolve to these two uh, cuts right here. I just drag a marquee over this thing and I'm gonna hit the minus key. Boom, it just added a cross dissolve. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. So go to, uh, oops, go to Premiere Pro up here, go to keyboard shortcuts and I'm just gonna start typing in the word uh, cross. So it's gonna say right here, apply audio crossfade transition. See how I have it set to the minus key? Um, you guys can set it to whatever you want. I'm just gonna delete that. Set it to whatever you want, like whatever key that you think you can remember, whatever key that you're not using for anything else. And if you look up here, you can see what keys you're not using. So as you can see, the minus key right here, I'm not using it now. So I'm gonna click on this, and then I'm gonna hit the minus key on my keyboard. Boom, so now I just set it. So the default crossfade transition is now the minus key. And then you can set the same thing for your uh, your video crossfade if you wanna do um, the, the transition, the uh, cross dissolve, you can set that to another key too. I don't have it set because I hardly ever use it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, all you have to do is zoom out. So we have a 14 minute timeline here. Um, this is kind of unorganized right now actually because uh, I don't really wanna talk about it. But basically, you just drag a marquee over all of the stuff, and then you just go, boom, hit your minus key, and now you just put a cross dissolve, a three frame cross dissolve on every single one of your cuts. So guys, like, if you guys are editing something and there's lots of cuts going on, there's pretty much no reason why you shouldn't be doing this. If you're doing like uh, documentary stuff or if you're doing interviews with people and you have a lot of cuts going on in your A-roll, like totally put a three frame cross dissolve in between. It just it just avoids having that, that popping sound. When people have that popping sound in their audio or in their videos, it drives me nuts. And if you can, if you put on your headphones, you can totally hear this sometimes. Like if somebody's, um, 
going from like one word to the next and you put in a, a quick little cut. The three frame cross resolve will smooth all that out. It'll make your life so much easier, so much better. You'll be able to get your projects done faster and all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share this video, like the video. Love you guys. See you guys next time.